Traveling and fishing has been a dream of mine since I picked up my very first rod and reel. My best friend Darian shares that exact same dream and for as long as we've known each other, he has told me stories about all the amazing fishing that New Brunswick has to offer. After many years of dreaming about it, we spontaneously decided to pack our gear, hook up the boat, and head east for New Brunswick. Little did we know that what we were about to experience on our journey was beyond anything that we could have ever imagined. Throughout this eight day journey, we set out with one simple goal in mind, catch fish. Join us as we embark on our trip all across New Brunswick in search of as many amazing species that we can encounter. This is All right, off to breakfast. So Darian and I got a pretty late start this morning, but we're headed to get some food. And then we're gonna stop by Big Rig's Tackle Shop to see what they got in stock. Maybe we're gonna pick up a couple things and uh, we're gonna be hitting the water pretty soon to chase after some more stripers. Hopefully we get some big ones today. I'm hoping the rain isn't too bad because if the rain's not too bad, Maybe we'll stay out into the evening bite, but we're not too sure yet what the game plan is for today. But all we know is that we want to catch some big fish. Ah, wow, there's so many rocks in my slippers because I'm barefooted. Big rigs. Big knuckles. And with Z-Man, all you need is one pack. Thank you. Have a great day. Ow. Even bigger flukes today. That's where we're going. We're gonna go eat some Burger King. We have VIP parking at Burger King. This is as in a parking spot as you'll get with a boat on the back. Still have no clue what I'm gonna get. I don't know about you, Darian. What are you gonna get? That's what you're getting? Probably Maple not. Whiskey Barbecue King. That might Probably be supper. Be supper. No, there you go. Just ask me for the five ninety nine deal. Awesome. I won't be here because I'll be off at three. Ah, oh, yeah. might have to make supper early. <laughs> five ninety nine supper. That's what we want. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're Not a bad little meal. A little bit full, but we're gonna burn a ton of calories today pounding the stripers. That's for sure. So we just made it to the same boat launch that we were at yesterday. Parks Landing boat launch here in Miramichi, I think it's Newcastle. I just put Darian in the water. He's coming to pick me up now. And hopefully we have a good day of fishing here. Rain just stopped a little bit. It's been raining, which is unfortunate. It would be nice to get some nice weather, but hopefully the fish are biting today. Not as many boats out here as there was yesterday, but I think we're still gonna be able to find them. Come on in, brother. It's wet. All right, let's go, buddy. Let's go catch some fish. What's your goal for today, mister? Um, to catch fish. Good answer. <laughs> I don't really know. Gonna be getting my rod rig now. I'll show you guys a little bit of what I'm using. So yesterday, the six inch Z-Man Strix XL was working really, really well for us. So today, I'm deciding to go with something even a little bit bigger. Switching to a 10-aught Owner Beast hook. And today, I'm gonna be switching to the 10-inch Hero Z. Heroes. Elaztec Z-Man again. And commonly with Elaztec, can't really use hooks that aren't Z-Man brand. But I was making it work yesterday with the Beast. You just gotta push extra, extra hard when you do your twisting. Just like that. Big soft plastic dirk bait. I got a 300 size Shimano Corrado on here. This thing's a beast. And I got it spooled up with 65 pound 
Power Pro Super Slick. And this is what I've been getting them on. Darian's using a wide variety of different things, but this has been my go-to for the trip so far. And we're gonna see if we can get one here. Darian's already fishing, took his second cast, and he hasn't caught anything, which is a terrible sign. Because yesterday he would have already had hits. But no, we're gonna be grinding it out today, seeing if we could get a big girl to bite, or a big male. Darian's big fish yesterday was a male, so I wouldn't mind one like that. Another thing, which I have to mention, we got a fish single and barbless. I will be fishing a single hook with a pinched barb, single and barbless. On me, but what I think I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna grab the spinning rod, just one of my bass rods, and I'm gonna downsize. I'm gonna go to a five inch fluke with a small EWG until the bite turns on. That's what I'm gonna be using, little guy. Just gonna rig it weedless, not because there's weeds, but just because that's how these guys swim the best. There we go. I'm just gonna pinch the barb on this guy too. All right, let's get back in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, watch your face. I'm gonna catch that fish. You show yourself to me, me, I'm catch you. Finally. Oh yeah. Fish on, baby. Like it? Feels like it. It's baby striper. First fish of the day on the fluke setup, little guy. I'm just gonna put it right back. Bye bye. Oh, that hurt my thumb. I just got hit. There we go. Right by the boat. Not a bad one. There we go. Okay. This is gonna hurt so bad. Oh yeah, that hurts. That really hurts. Oh, nice guy. Pop the hook out. Show this to you guys. Number two of the morning so far. Not a giant. We're gonna find more like this until we can find the big girls. Oh, yeah? Little guy. All the little guys. He feels so little. Still rips the rod out of your hand though. Practically boat flip this bugger. Get in here, number three. Oh God. Chill, buddy. Number three. Little guy. I'm just fucked by the tide. I know. Big? You got him though. Oh, little guy. Come show him to the camera. Number four of the day for us. Back he goes, or she. It's fun on the light tackle too with the flukes. Fish busting. <coughs> Fish are busting. Nice one. Oh yeah, it's nice. A large mouth could never. Give me a hug, Zachary. We've got number five of our trip. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> eat it on the surface. Come on, I don't want you to eat it. I see you following me. Fish thinks he could avoid me. We're at five. Oh, that was a nice one, I think. We should be throwing wacky rig senkos. Holy! That might be your biggest one yet. That's a monster. I got his net. You think he's big net? I don't know. Oh yeah, he's big, big dude. Holy! 
I only have 10 pound test, man. I don't think he'll spool you. He's big. Oh my god, my arm is killing me. That's a good fish. Not even that big. Oh, nice. I'll let you get the camera off the tripod. Okay, cool. Ah. Fish number six of the day. By far the biggest of the day so far. And probably close to my biggest to date. Like, I don't think it hits as big as the one from yesterday. But it's definitely up there. So we're going to get a quick bump on it. Oh. 26 and a half. 26 and a half. Chill. We're going to be putting this beautiful striper back to where he belongs. Big wake. Oh, I want to eat. That was crazy. That's so cool. Dude. He came from so far. I Not watched his wake one. come in and I watched him crush it. Man, I mean, I watched it too. Oh. He came from like 20 feet to the right. So. That's sick. Of course, it doesn't happen when I have 70 to 200 or drone. Oh. Barbless and harmless. <laughs> this is barbless. That's big. That's big. I don't know. That's big. He ate it both sides. That's big. Look at him. Look at him. He's not huge, but he's big. Oh, man. That was so sick. He crushed it right next to the boat. Oh, my God. He crushed it next to the boat. Yeah? For sure? He's not in slow mo, though. It's absolutely dogging me right now. My arms are hurting. My goodness. Dude, my arms hurting. I have to fight it. Like I'm deep sea. Oh my god. He doesn't want to let up. Might be better than the last one, dude. Come in here. Oh yeah, he's definitely better than the last one, dude. Can you help me? Oh my god, he's definitely better than the last one. That might be my biggest yet, actually. Oh my god, look how he... Oh, okay, wait, I have to show this to the camera. Oh, it's 100% bigger than your last one. Look how he ate that bait. You can't even see it. Stop it, Siri. he goes 30, dude. Look how he ate that. Oh my goodness. that one goes 30. Oh, show me, show me the mouth. Right, Barbless and harmless. The hook should just come right out. Oh, I have to show this to you guys. Oh, look at that striper. That's that has to be my biggest so far. On the smallest bait I've thrown, big striper. He doesn't go thirty. <laughs> twenty nine. Does he go? Does he go twenty nine and a half? Yeah, he hits twenty nine and a half. All right, there is my biggest striper of the trip so far. Not quite 30 inch, 29 and a half inches. Crushed me on the smallest bait that I've thrown all trip. We're gonna put it right back. Oh, he slipped. All right, so what just happened there on the release, he kicked out of my hand. As you can see, my thumb's in a lot of pain, so naturally I let go when he kicked. He ended up swimming down, turned up. I was going to grab him with the net and he kicked off strong and he kept swimming. That was my biggest. It sucks we didn't get a crazy good release on it, but he's gonna live another day and hopefully we get some more fish soon. My thumbs and my hands are completely killing me right now, but we're gonna get some more fish now. That's what did it. The little fluke ended up catching the nicest fish of the day and my biggest fish of the trip so far. Strange how that works. I feel like if I was using like a big fluke, maybe a top water, he might've taken big. Mine did that and it was big. It's definitely pulling. Right? I don't think he's big though. Oh yeah. See the big fish, he's they gonna, like this. He's gonna it. come out and he's gonna look a lot bigger than that. Why is that rain? Oh. You got him? Can I see? You got him? 
He's got a tail in his mouth. Show me that fish. He's a big chunker. Bountiful. Oh, don't thrash, don't thrash. You're on my bad hand. Bountiful Brontosaurus. Bountiful milk maker. Gorgeous fish, dude. How big do you think? Uh, 25? 26. 26? Well, well. They're in so good. Right on, baby. Right on 26. 26! Alright. You want to Why do they fake it? Like, I know he's good to go. Watch. See? I told you. Like, they just fake it. They're like, oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> awesome. Rain started up again. Sucks. Nobody likes the rain. Had to put my big camera away. As a responsible filmmaker, I will not let it get very wet like yesterday. Oh yeah. I don't think so. What? It crushed you both side and you weren't watching? I didn't feel it. <laughs> Get in here, Buster. Barb, this comes right out. Fish is gone. Number 11. Yeah? Nice one? It looks huge, dude. Is it my imagination or it looks huge? It looks big. No, that one's actually small. Like, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying like, the other ones we thought they were small and they were big, but I think this one's small. I don't know why it looks huge out there, dude. 13. 16. Going back. They're in the 16, everybody. Well, we started trolling big sluggos, and we've got four fish since we started trolling, so we're at 20 now. I'm a Shimano Compri with my 401 high gear tranks. This is my musky setup, one of them, and catching stripers on it. Feels so good. Okay. Time to cast. Bad at all. I don't know. I don't think so. Everything hurts. My thumb hurts to reel. My wrist hurts a little bit. Double, double header. Double header. Lauren's hooked up right now, guys. Show me your fish. Show me. It's here. There it is. Double up. Double, big white Double. Oh, they're kissing. Cookie cutters. Are we gonna show them to the camera together? Choking the big white flukes. Milking our seats. Let's get them back. Oh yeah, all over the chairs. Oh my goodness. Oh, sweet. Fish number 25 or 26 of the day. 27. Good fishing. 28. Nice one. Nice one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yes. Good job, dude. Number 29. 29. They're getting bigger. That's nice. Yeah. 26. I think he's more than 26. 27? He's longer than my last one. 27, 28. Back you go. Good job, dude. Wow. I had one hand off. I was fixing my phone. I paused it. I don't want to get rain water on my phone. Yeah. I'm a giant. Dirty 30, everybody. The dirty 30.
gone. We lost count around 30 yesterday, so we said we were gonna keep count today. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna try. I gotta get this camera away. 32? Is. Aaron just caught 32. Pardon? There we go. Quick release. I was hoping for that. I was just about to say, I hope he comes off. You been counting? Good. I got number 35, Aaron's got 36. Neither of them are big. Is yours? Yours is giant. Darian's might be big net, he says. All right, on hook number 35, that's landed. Gone, he's catching hogs. Oh, he's barely hooked. I think so. Yeah? I think so. Talk to me. 31. That makes this my second biggest fish, the second biggest fish of the trip. We still have to get Zach on one over 30 inches. They pull so hard. Crushed the big mama fluke. Amazing. We're gonna get some pictures and get her back to the water. Good job, buddy. It makes it look like I'm snotting. Yeah, our double header was 35, 36. Was it? <laughs> so then six, 36. Thirty-eight. Come off easy, please. I love barbless. Thirty-eight just went back. Thirty-nine is next cast. In three, two, one. Now. Now. Right now. Now. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I thought you missed it. Oh. oh no, it came off. Thank God. I don't understand why the five inch fluke, it's like it goes in their mouth so easy. Six inch fluke is big struggle. That one broke me off. Because I have to figure this out. They're eating it. But I think what's happening is with the fluke is they eat it. And because we're in the middle of doing like pull, 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 like twitch, twitch, the twitch pulls it out of their mouth because we don't really set the hook, you know? I think that's what's happening more than more than the fact that they're missing it. I believe they're missing it, but I feel like we're with the twitch twitch, we pull it out of their mouth a lot too. So me, I'm do pull, feel, pull, feel. Are you kidding me? He's gonna come for you now. Come on. Come on. Again. He's both side. Oh my god. <laughs> He's an unhook boat side kind of fish. 42. I don't think I've ever enjoyed fishing barbless as much as I do right now. How much my hands hurt. Fishing barbless is beautiful. Hey, it's not small at all, dude. Me too. Double header. <laughs> Mine's a dinker. Whee! Get in here. Ah, man, I'm joking. And also, it's pouring. Ah! <laughs> no. 
It's just also it's raining and it's dark and it's miserable and I'm crying. No. Camera picture or phone picture? No. So you have a 30, 31, and 32? 30 and a half. My goodness. Yeah. My third 30 of the trip. This is a 30 and a half. The 30s are getting smaller, but Zach's gonna come in clutch with a big girl. And man, my hands are so sore, or my thumbs. I'm in pain. We're gonna get this one back quick everywhere. Uh, oh. uh, <laughs> I sleep. It's getting late, it's getting dark, it's getting rain. and there's a ton of rain as you guys can see. We're pretty soaked, but the fish are biting. It's probably gonna end up being like last night where we just head off the water, go get food and we close off this video and depending on how tomorrow goes this might be a day two wait no a day three and four video or just a day three not sure yet if we have a good day tomorrow they might be their own separate videos but anyway for now we're gonna get back to catching fish after a long day of catching stripers we finally made it back to the motel darian's already made himself at home we just stopped for some mcdonald's to grab some food because we haven't eaten all day but that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We caught a lot of fish. The conditions weren't that great for filming, so it was a lot of chesty, it was a lot of whatever. But tomorrow, there's high hopes that we're gonna get some awesome filming content for you guys. So if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop a like. Comment down below for what you guys wanna see in future videos. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As of right now, that's the only way that you guys can support me. And on that note, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Did you wanna say bye? Bye bye. Well, it is a sad, sad day. It is our last day here in New Brunswick. Holy shit. Another big one. That's a mega. 22 inches of chain pickerel right there. Beautiful native brook trout. Someone's down there and we're gonna find it. Just caught a new species for myself. I don't know, are these guys poisonous? I have no idea.